How's it going, everybody? Now, I hope you enjoyed your weekend. It's your boy, Leonidas. I wanted to show you that retro arc. We do have the NES and the GBA emulators. They do seem to be running really good. Um, save states are working. There's a couple of other features that are working too. Now, the one thing that isn't working is the configuration file is not automatically loading. And the default configuration file is not saving and loading in regards to both emulators. Um, I am going to be uploading a file or two files that will include the NES emulator and the VBA emulator. Um, they will have configuration folder within those two folders themselves. Those um, NES configurations and the VBA configurations folders should be placed on the root of your SD, your micro SD card, not placed in any um, folders within your micro SD card, not in the switch folder, just in the root of your micro SD card. So that would basically be going into Windows, plugging your micro SD card in, and as soon as you double click and open into your micro SD, place the NES configurations folder and the VBA configurations folder. Within those is a configurations file which you're going to load when you do load the emulators themselves, the RetroArch versions of these emulators. Now here I have the FCE UMM, that's the NES RetroArch emulator. As you can see here, I will start it up. I'm using my PS4 controller on uh, the switch on the right. Uh, this is only working on uh, 5.0.2 or 5.0 softwares. 4.0 isn't working as of yet. Compatibility will be brought, but you're going to have to give it some time, be patient. And I would advise people, if you're on a lower software version, just be patient, stay on it. There will be benefits to being on the lower software and firmware in the future. Um, audio is working, as you can see there. Um, now within the configuration folder, I did set up the right joystick to do a couple of things for everybody. I'm gonna show you real quick what it is doing. Um, the simulator is not 100%, but watch, see it died. Now if you push left with the right joystick, watch this. Look what I'm doing. Did you see that? Does everyone understand what I'm doing right now? Watch this. Boom. Come up here. Bang. I have it set up so the right joystick will rewind when you push left. See that? And then I could let him kill me or make me small. And then I can go back to where I was a second ago. It's really interesting. Um, when you push right, it will make fast forward occur. So as you can see now, Mario's running really fast. If you push right again, it will slow it down. Uh, to rewind, you have to hold it. You have to hold left with the right joystick. To fast forward, you just tap it and it's going to continue to fast forward. To slow that down to regular speed, push it again. And it'll go to a regular speed. And now I have one other button, I think, set up for down. Yeah, which is slow motion, as you can see right there. So Mario is in slow motion. So you push down, it'll enable slow motion. And when you push down again, it'll disable it. So down is slow motion with the right joystick. Down again is to disable it. Left is to rewind. You have to hold it with the right joystick and it'll rewind. And if you push right, it'll fast forward or it'll make it super fast. And if you push right again with the right joystick, it'll slow it down to regular speed. Now, as you can see, there are some graphical issues, but it is nice. So this is the NES simulator. Now, if I take the time, I would say push, push plus and minus. I'm going to push it right there. And I'm going to go to, I'm going to push back. And I'm going to go to quit RetroArch. Now, I'm going to go into the next one I have here. 
which is the VBA Next RetroArch emulator. Um, the controls should be set the same. Now, the reason why I told you guys to place your configuration folders with the configuration file on the root of your micro SD card is because here you're going to see when you first load RetroArch, you're going to be greeted with this screen. You're going to go down to configurations. You do this with both the NES and the GBA emulator, but make sure you load the configuration file associated to either one. Now I'm going to go to load configuration. I'm going to go to parent directory, which is going to send me back into my SD. And the reason why I said to put it on your root is because it's easy to get to right here, as you can see. Now, as I go down, because I'm in the VBA emulator, I'm going to go to VBA configuration and I'm going to click configuration. Now it's going to load everything. So when I go to start directory, it's going to load right into the switch ROMs GBA folder where I have all my ROMs. Now I could go to, uh, what game should I load up real quickly for everybody just to give an idea. Let's load Sonic Advance 3, why not? Yes, the audio is working for this one too. English. Uh, register name. I'm gonna register a name. So remember, place the NES configurations folder on the root of your micro SD card. The actual folder that that's within, place that in the switch folder. Uh, that'll have the NRO file, and that's the file that's the actual emulator itself. The configuration folder is obviously for configurations. Sonic Advance 3, main game. We're going to cut this video soon. I might do another one soon. I have something else I was thinking of showing everybody. You got knuckles or what? Don't unlock them yet? No, I got to unlock them. It's interesting. You can team up with whoever you want. Hmm. Might have to play this version a little more depending on. Um, if you push right on the right joystick, it will fast forward. As it did for the NES simulator. We're just gonna go through this real quickly as you can see look that's normal speed watch how quick it goes now boom just running through it um down with the right joystick will be slow motion evidently and left will be rewind so if i wanted to i could rewind back into the video It was pretty interesting. Oh, did I glitch it? I think I glitched it. Bound to happen. The emulator's not perfect. Oh, no, I did kick back in. Just a subtle delay, but as you can see, even with that emulator there, um, we do have the fast forward, the rewind. So fast forward, rewind, and slow motion enabled. So I'm going to, again, oh, I know what happened. My controller died. I have to plug that bad boy in. Um, if it lasts a little longer, then I'll use it for a second. But if not, then, so remember, you go into your configuration, load configuration. This controller died again. Parent directory, SD, and then you would load whatever configuration file for whatever emulator config.config or CFG. When you load that, it'll load what you're needed. All your controls will be set up. Your directories are all be set up for that uh, configuration folder. It'll be where all your states and everything go. And yeah, you'll be pretty good. Not many complaints. Save states are working on this. Um, what else is working? Uh, controls are working. Just the uh, default configuration file is not working. So like, subscribe, share. I'm going to include a download link for uh, both these files and the folders I described. All the best. Stay tuned to the channel. Your boy Leonidas. Out.